What's going on, everybody? Welcome. We're going to do an arena cube draft. This is the only cube that is currently up right now in any form. And, uh, pack seems all right. Hornet Queen is a beating. I kind of want a Hornet Queen here. I think I'm taking Hornet Queen. Hornet Queen's a card that if you're behind, you can not be behind anymore. So that's what I'm going to take. Shanala clearly agrees a little bit. Got a Rish car. That can help us cast our Hornet Queen. Solemn Simulacrum seems like a pretty safe pick here. Unless you got Ancestral Recalls and, and, and Time Walks in the cube. I don't I don't foresee this really being that great. I do like Witch of the Moors, but Solemn's probably the safest. Michael said his side effects. Michael got Moderna. His, he said his side effects were worse than than mine were. So maybe the Moderna is just a little bit a little bit beefier. Maybe it's just a tougher. A tougher vaccine. I think I like Toski here. Huh. Could also take like the old passage. Could take Brazen Bee. I'm going to take the Toski. I'm going to stay on color. Plus with Hornet Queen, you're like, play Toski. Draw a billion. Golos is nice. Where's that Super Fritz when you need him? Also, Lanoar Visionary? That's pretty good. Both of these are good. I think Golos is probably better than Visionary. Uh, I'm going to take the Golos. Man, it's so weird seeing cards like Thrag Tusk on here. So we have no Planeswalkers. I'm going to take the Immortal Sun. And maybe we can steer clear of Planeswalkers. Not like I want to do that, but so far it seems like it could work out. I feel like our deck is good so far. These are five, five banana bangers. Once you get both shots, are you more open to going out in public more, or are you still going? To, I'm probably still going to hang back. I will be more open to going into places, but I'm still going to be wearing a mask because, as far as I know, uh, if I'm vaccinated, I can still get and spread COVID. I just won't be as susceptible to it. That's my impression. Is that correct? Does anyone can anyone confirm that? Is the client still alive? What up, Dennis? Good seeing you, buddy. Hope you're doing all right. But yeah, me and Mike and Kitty already talked about it. We're like, once we're all well vaccinated, we would love to go out to a restaurant and actually have a meal. And uh, ideally, you know, maybe we can still sit outside. That'd be fine. But like, you know, it's... I, I literally haven't been to a restaurant since since last February. <laughs> so it's been like... 14 months and I know a lot of people do not have the same uh, <laughs> same durability in that regard so Paradise Druid or Old Growth Troll we're definitely like a mono green thing here. I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the troll I think par actually Paradise Druid ramps us to four I'm gonna take the Druid I uh, know I have not been in Florida for about 15 months now so uh Yeah, moved to Utah last January uh, for a few months and then moved to Colorado, where I have been since last June. Um, I think it's just Hedron Archive. Again, it's a four drop that ramps us to six or seven, so. Temple? <laughs> Whatever, nerd.
Uh, Vast Wood Surge is basically he draw archive that draws you one card instead of two when you get rid of it. Chain Web Arachner is interesting. Yeah, I mean, like, it's just dumb to get rid of the mask mandate. There's no reason for it. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not hurting anyone. It's literally not hurting anyone. It's actually painless. Um, I'm going to take Cosmos Elixir. Maybe we're playing some cool artifact deck. Let's take Gilded Lotus. Okay, well, now we have nothing exciting. I'll just take Helm of the Host to go with our artifacts. Sawtusk, Field of Ruin. Draw cards equal to greatest power among non-human creatures you control. <laughs> like, draw one. Oh, I'm glad we took Paradise Root. For a second, I thought we took something else. I'm actually really glad, because now we have four drop, four drop, four drop. <laughs> I'm not sure we're gonna play Helm. I'll take this guy. The Llanowar Visionary coming back is actually amazing. Take this. Oh, the troll came back? Wow, we are like the only green. And look, the temple came back. Shanala, you win. That was a pretty good pack. <laughs> you want a player in your hand. Hand? Okay. I actually kind of like Cold Steel Heart here. Like, we're, we're our goal is to literally hit four here. So I'm going to take the Cold Steel Heart, which, again, is super weird to see on MTG Arena because it's a literal uh, Cold Snap card. First picking a Cold Steel Heart in a, in a cube draft is not ideal, but sometimes you know what your deck wants to do. Sometimes what your deck wants to do is take an Ulmog. I like it. This deck's looking pretty sweet. And we have Hedron Archive, Solemn Simulacrum, Gilded Lotus, Golos, Llanowar Visionary Paradise Root, and Cold Steel Heart. Ramping up to these fat things. Still no Planeswalkers, so let's keep that in mind. Um, I do kind of like Wayward Sword Tooth here. Voracious Hydra just seems good. It's a good card to ramp into, but also if you play it's just like three or four mana, it still can do something. Ooh, the Great Hinge? Oh man, now we're talking. I might be worried that we're getting a, a few too many expensive cards, but all our expensive cards are very, very good. First Iroan games, huh? Yeah, this is draw two. Sure. Sure, you know what? Uh, Cultivator's Caravan is nice. I do like Rishkar's Expertise, but I think we need more cards that cost less than six mana. I just sneezed alone in my bedroom and said, excuse me. <laughs> I also don't think sneezing is even worth an excuse me, right? Like, usually people say that to you. So...
I think our deck's almost done. I think it looks really sick. I like it a lot, and it's probably going to lose. Oh, I like a Kazandu Mammoth. We could also start taking lands like Hinterland Harbor as well because it helps us with our Golos. I think we're going to do that. Because now we do have Temple and Hinterland Harbor. Plus we have Paradise Druid and Cultivator's Caravan as well. I'll just take Mythos. We could even be blue, but do we still have no Planeswalkers? Just making sure I didn't like miss picking any up. Man, Immortal Sun looking good. Rejuvenator? Oh, baby. That's actually a great pickup. Now we have three cards that ramp us to uh, to five. Maybe sheltered thicket. Yeah, let's take a thicket. Yeah, I'll take a ram through. I'm not sure we're gonna play it. Okay, God's willing. And we still have another pack? Jeez, Phyrexian Obliterator. Love it. So we're a little low on twos and fives. Green Triome does help us with uh, Golos. Could also take Chariot. Um, I think we're, I think we do want Chariot. Chariot seems pretty sweet. And it also, uh, like if we have an old Growth Troll 4-4. Four four, yeah, I want to take the Chariot. And I bet eh, maybe Triumph comes back, maybe not. Who cares? Mouth to feed. Escape to the Wilds, which we, we have two lands for it. The problem is we're going to draw like 6-drop, 8-drop, 11-drop or some nonsense. Um... It might just be Woodland Cemetery. Again, these are great because we're going to have so many forests. I probably could splash triple, quadruple black very easily. What problem is? Um, I think I just want the land. Oh, what up, Jimmy? Good seeing you, buddy. Yeah, I'm just going to take the land here. I don't care about Scoot Mob, Scoot Swarm, or Mouth to Feed. I'd rather just make sure our Golos actually has a good chance of of popping off okay kogla is nice i don't like that they lump all these together like having this is not five six drops this is two six drops i'm not even sure i care about this guy that much yeah it's literally one six drop so i think we're taking, i think taking kogla is actually just fine here and i bet castle garenberg comes back Balagad recovery is a sweet freebie. So this, all right, oh, wow. Incubation Druid, fantastic. And hopefully Temple Garden comes back. Our deck's looking sweet.
Ooh, Elder Gargaroth. Oh, that's actually great because our five slot was this looks this deck looks sweet, man. Cultivate? No, oh, man. They're just giving it to me now. Or is Kiora better? Ooh, Kiora could be better. Creature with power four or greater. I don't think we have many of those until we hit like. How many creatures do we have? We're going to take Cultivate. Primal Might? Oh, that's good removal. Man, now we got cuts to make? Jeez. Well, Balagate is a land. Oh, the Zagoth Triumph came back. Bananas. B A N A N A S. So now we got Woodland, Hinterland, Zagoth, Temple, Sheltered. These are all green sources too, which is fantastic. Are you winning? Sorry, winning, son? Uh, I think I am. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows, Christopher? Who knows? I want to put mouth to feed here. Ooh, Garen. Castle Garenbrig. Sure, I'll take a Garenbrig. It's a free land. I mean, we're going to have like... 10 forests after this. Two, three, four, five. Eh, something for the card. Man, Temple Garden didn't come back? That's frustrating. Okay, so <sighs> playing Balagad. <clears throat> playing this. Um playing this. Fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen, nineteen. This, this, and this. So how many lands is this? This is currently 21 lands, so... Four? Is that... Okay, 17 lands. 16 lands plus a Balagad recovery. How many come into play tapped? Thicket, Temple, Triumph, Balagad. But this is also 10, 11, 12 forests. So that hinterland and woodland come into play on tap. So we'll have to see how that goes. Hmm. This deck looks sweet. Thank you. Oh my god. Adam with the gifted subs, buddy. What's up, my dude? I appreciate you, man. You are awesome. Thank you. Adam, Adam. I guess we can get rid of first Iroan games. Thank you. This deck looks sweet. How many creatures is this? 14? That's actually a good amount. Let's see what this deck can do. I'm excited about it. Adam, thank, thank you so you. much, buddy. You are awesome. Up thank and you. Adam. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Is Chorwood even here? Thank you. I will play first. I will keep this hand. Oh god, we didn't change our mana base. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I see. Oh wow, that was a great draw. Unless we whiff, and that's a bad draw. Ooh, Castle Gambrick is just better than a forest, right? 
Because next turn, can we Hornet Queen? One, two, three, four, make six. No. We can Kogla if we get a Kogla. Uh, we got one, two, three, four. We can make six. Um, pretty sure we actually just Voracious Hydra here, right? For four? Let's fight this thing. So next turn we can Hornet Queen. That seems good. Um, sure. Block. Plus three. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh. Six, seven, eight. We can't actually cast that now. Got them bees. Sunny bees, they'll bite your butt. My favorite soft drink, Coca Cola. Mine too. So five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bottom that guy. Okay, so they're letting me know. They're like, you know what? You can't do anything. Get in there with all five of these guys. Temple putting in work. What do we got next time? It's only green creatures, right? Oh, it's only creatures. That's good. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We're close, but not there yet. That'll help. Okay, that's a next turn, big daddy. You got death touch? Yeah, that's fine. So the big daddy comes down and kills your things. There's a PS5 energy drink in Japan. Well, that sure is something. Gain a life and draw a card. Each opponent sacks a creature and you. Sure. You got it. Nose is itching. So long, little guy. Oof. Oof, that's a big oof. Can we just win? <laughs> can we do 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can do plus 9, plus 9 on here. I, I mean, I just want to cast this guy, though, right? So what is this? 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This thing and this thing. Okay. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Did they just... They do look a little bigger. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. Maybe. I kind of like scavenging is here because they have some things that are getting things back from the graveyard. <sighs> from the graveyard. Man, as I predicted, Hornet Queen and Ulamog doing work. Doing work. 41 cards? Okay. What did you say? It's not a... On the Coward stream? Kurt's complaining because it's Arena, apparently. Well, there's nothing good on MTGO, so I don't know what to tell you. You little biscuit. It sounds good if we can hit land land on the draw. Why not? What's the worst that can happen, guys? That. That is likely the worst that can happen. Main boarding, huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, 
we're so good at this game. All right, one more land. And then we literally got it all. Well, that's close to a land, I guess. Don't kill my land elf. Ah, uh, no block. Chariot could be good here. Primal Might for Dryad Arbor. I don't think this. I don't think this is the card you think it is. Nice. That's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I thought it was the other one. Oh, the other card with the dinosaur on it. Finale of Devastation. I got all the cards of dinosaurs on them confused. Man, I never thought we'd have a time in Magic where you actually get the cards with dinosaurs on them confused. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll take two. Oh man, these lands are just killing it. Make another kitty cat. Oh, that's that's a deal. That's a good deal. Sure. Let's get a Zagoth Triome, I guess. Yeah, take action, of course. I'm not a, I'm not a lunatic. Um, I feel like that gets us closest to activating. We also have cult. One can go one, two, three, cultivators, caravan, have one, two, three, four. <coughs> those cats are those no region big old cats, huh? The ones that fight bears. Yeah, these are bear fighters. <laughs> They're right. They're both two twos, you know, so it, it makes sense. Is this just an attack? So, like, if I block, you can get it back. Oh, you could have Grasp here? Sure. I'm just going to block here. Like, we lose a life and you gain a life. But we're going to lose a life if we don't block anyway. And I'd rather you have to spend two mana to get that guy back anyway, so... Oh, that's pretty good. Um, so we can go one, two, three for Caravan. Then we have four. This guy comes in as a two, three. So we can, like, kill this and then actually fight something else, maybe? I don't know. Could also just play Immortal Sun, which is probably fine. So one, two, three, we play this, then we have one, two, three. Yeah, let's just Immortal Sun here. I think we're no attacks. I feel like... I feel like we're no attacks. We got it. That's pretty good. Uh, so block here. You don't have the mana to bring this back this turn, so it's easy, easy block. 
This does trigger, so we have to sacrifice something. We'll probably just sacrifice a cat. I mean, they're going to gain life anyway, right? So I might as well get this off the board as opposed to, like, giving them something else back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think we play this for two. One, two. This guy for three. Does that work? One, two. Yeah, because he's going to be one. Yeah, yeah. resolve that oh this is actually doing quite a number on us unfortunately um this guy's a three four if he lives this is just a three three so it actually is better to just use it on the cat Okay, we're just yeah, we're just gonna use it for one. Okay, can't creature you don't control. I mean, they're running out of creatures, which is really what we're. I guess they can play this for six if they hit a land, which is kind of annoying. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight. One man away from an Ulamog. Okay, well, that's good for them. Sure, we go to five. We'll go to four after we take one from this guy. Yep. I mean, if we can hit a land and get rid of Bastion of Remembrance, it's actually pretty good. But right now, this is actually really obnoxious. Land. That's all. That that'll that'll also do. <laughs> Oh no! <sighs> That's annoying. Yep. I forgot. I thought it was. I thought it was when it enters the battlefield. I I got the uh, the Kogla abilities confused. So we take two. Oh, we got actually can't do that. Um. Yeah. No attacks. Oh boy. I don't know who Demovia is, so I guess so. <laughs> oh, what up, Fritz? Yeah, we should have just played Elder Gargroth, I guess. I mean, this is still a pain in the ass as a creature. 
And we didn't have a human in play to, to give this guy indestructible, unfortunately. <sighs> Yikes. All right, big, big, big. Bring in the Demolisher now. Take out Archive. Also, we kept a one lander last game. Let's keep that in mind. Woods Bandit, have a good night, buddy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, let's drop this Toski. They just dropped a grasp, which means they're not going to give this guy neg one, neg one. We can block their skeleton. They don't have much of a board here, so. Toski? Toski? Who knows? Who knows ski? Am I right? Okay. Are they gonna counter it? Disfigure. Taking names, making biscuits. I'd rather make names and take biscuits, if you know what I mean. Oh, wow. Wait, and it gets trampled? That's fascinating. Huh. That seems like a combo. 6-6 six, six, trampler that draws me a card and I get to kill something when it comes into play? Destroy a non-creature opponent. Oh, man, that'd be great because we could target Toski. And since it's indestructible, it wouldn't die, so we'd get a free 3-3. Oh, that would have been cool. I kind of want to just kill one of my own lands to make a 3-3 here. Plus, next turn, it's we're probably going to be able to Great Hinge pretty easily. Like, I'd rather them not block here. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, over. Because the next turn, if we hit a land, we can still play Land of War Elf or Rejuvenator. But this is also three, so we can just play this. Play Rejuvenator. This is an indestructible 6-6 with Trample that draws us a card every time it connects. So that's cool. I think I, think I should probably be concluding this just for this combo. Must be nice. Never didn't have it as right. I should have known. Once I started getting excited about it, it was like, oh, wait, hold on. 
This is never going to work out. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, goody. This is a six. We don't have that yet. We do have solemn. I don't think we care about this yet. They have no creatures, but the sacrifice is pretty rough. I wish we had a land here. That would be great. <sighs> Solemn Simulacrum, sure. No attacks. Wow. It's really, uh... Yeah, targeting my 6-6 six, six, that's indestructible to Vraska's Contempt. That is definitely the uh, the the play of a good player. Um, I don't care about either of these dying. I'm sure they have removal, but... It's whatever. Yep, there it is. It's, I guess that's actually fine. I'm not super excited about that. That didn't gain life, so it doesn't like trigger. <clears throat> okay, so now we have six, seven mana for creatures. Could play Kogla and Lanor Elves. Kogla just kills this, but is that good? I don't know. I kind of want to get it out of the out of the play. Isn't Demovia or Scarlet Witch is wrong? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They have two cards. I feel like Kogla is actually probably just fine. Get it out of here. I wonder if they could sack Blast and just get rid of Lanowar Elf. Like, okay, put it to three, sure. You got it. Um, so next time we're going to play one, two, three, we have five, six, seven, four, five, six. We can go Immortal Sun, Scavenging News for one. I mean, we could probably Prowl Light, but, like, it's going to be the same as casting this, right? Like, this is four, five, six, seven. This is eight. I think I'm just more interested in scavenging using here. So, one, two, three. Or activate abilities of creatures. Four, five. So, this is six. Okay, I think we can actually Golos here. This is six, seven, eight. This is five. Uh, let's get Temple of Abs of a ba No, actually, we're gonna need a second black or. A... <sighs> Scavenging news. Eat 
that Witch of the Moors. Play a land for actually maybe we just maybe we just discard that. Yeah, that seems fine. I don't want to discard any of these other three, so <laughs> discarding the Zagoth Triumph seems just better. It just hits different. And as long as they don't avoid to kill scavenging use, I think we're good because then we can make sure their their last part doesn't do anything, right? This is some manual tapping that's going on here. What do we got in here? We have a Kogla. Yeah, there's some good ones. There's some there's some bangers there. Fails. Uh, so six. Cool. <laughs> oh, God. And then they get to kill us with our own Kogla. So that's cool. Maybe we just make the biggest fucking voracious high driver. Is it six? I have one timeout, sure. Six. Pay five. Auto pay. If one card. So they're getting Kogla, which is fine, but because they, they can't kill Voracious Hydra. <clears throat> sure. Yeah, all right. They, I mean, they, they've had removal every single time. Needed this. Needed this. Needed this. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> they've drawn three terrible creatures and all the removal that they need. So, yep. To the surprise of no one. Yep. It is what it is. I assume you've just drawn a removal spell for this. Now you will. Now you will. Now you'll have it all. Okay. Just a death touch idiot. You got it. Come at me, bro. How much damage can we deal with the friggin'... Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This costs six. This would cost five. We get five out of this, so plus four, plus four. I mean, literally, this guy's problematic, but 7, 8, 9, 10. Like, we can actually kill this and then just get in there with this guy, which has trample. And 
we're at 21. But then if they attack with Kogla, we lose one of these two. So I don't think that's correct. I think we actually just kill the Kogla. I mean, they have to block with a bunch of dudes, so they can't go block here. They can take one, two, three. Sure. <laughs> I mean, this is still 15 power, so. Mm -hmm. Seems fine. One more, huh? Okie dokie. That's, that wipes your board. I mean, you have a mortal sun to draw too. Great Henge lets us draw off any creature, so I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was lethal. Yes, um, I just didn't think about it. But yeah, if we were able to, if we like gave <laughs> an, an additional plus six, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would have been lethal. But we were trying to play around the death, the Falmire Knight, because in my head, I'm like, this can't be the last turn of the game, and then it was. Or it would have been, rather. Pretty sure you put the 1-1 the one, one and the, the two 1-1s one, on the Atlanta War. Maybe? I don't know. Actually, you do what you want. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> you got it. They kept this guy. They're like, you know what? I'm going to keep this guy. Yeah, put another counter on that thing. Put it up to four. <laughs> okay. I mean that's good. Okay, that'll that'll do. <laughs> sure. I'm going to gain two, draw a card, put four two twos into play, and then uh, can I cast this guy? Probably not, right? I mean, you got a block. I mean, we play this because it's not going to die if they actually have, like, a Wrath of God effect. So we still get the Chariot, and then we can play, like, Ulamog and still attack the same turn. So. Yeah, see, if we just won the game, like, what fun is that? Oh, they get to go to two. What do you think their out is here? I don't think it exists in Magic the Gathering. Um, yeah, okay. Boop, 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 boop.
Okay. Well, that's how you win the match of Magic the Gathering. Our deck was sweet. Our deck was good too, but sometimes if you draw all your good removal, but then you never actually draw any threats that are good, then you don't you don't win. How do I get to my thing again? I just want to edit my deck. I want to turn these lands into good lands. Do it. Baron, have a good night, buddy. Uh, this is a keeper. Ooh, excuse me. Or don't. Totally up to you. Get the woodland into incubation and then cultivate into Kogla, and that's kind of cool. I also opened the window a crack because it's like 36 degrees now, but it's like 73 in the house, and it's kind of warm. So I'm just like, give me that sweet, sweet air. Okay, so I think we're huge around archiving here. Sensor. Okay. Demovia, how did I not know you were a sub? Everyone was like, "Wow, Demovia's like one of the best players on MTG Arena," and I was like, "That name sounds really familiar," but I don't, I can't pinpoint it, man. Dude, that's awesome. Good games. Oh, you having the answer for the 6-6 Toski was really, really disheartening. I was like, so sad. What did they do? They ramped? They played a land? Okay. Okay. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if I want to waste a Kogla, but I mean, it's a Kogla, right? I guess I'll just eat your little guy. Oh, we're just gonna eat that little guy. We're gonna. Don't want that. Give me something good. Oh god, they're gonna kill it. They're hollering over it. Oh, they're reading it. Yeah, the once. So the sawtooth's actually in my sideboard, and once I toast get into sawtooth, I was like, this should be in the main deck. Six six trample that draws you a card. Indestructible, like. Uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> okay, that's rude. See, now you're just being rude. That's not very nice. It's okay, we're gonna draw Immortal Sun. We can't cast it. It's just a it's just a flex draw. <clears throat> yeah, this is my first time playing the arena cube as well. I was playing the Mengu Cube on Magic Online. Okay. You got it. I feel like you're being really rude right now. Um, so this is black. We don't have a white source, unfortunately. Okay, big seven. I'm just gonna cultivate here because we're gonna play that either way. I just don't know if I want to play Forest or Zagoth Triome. Probably Forest, because I I think cycling this later is probably just gonna be better. <clears throat> I mean, I have five lands and four colors, so I really have no idea what they could be up to. Only four cards. 
Are they looking at the top card of the library? Okay. That's fine. And something we have to keep in mind with this guy. I mean, I'll probably just kill that this turn. Ooh, maybe we go this into... No, that's not going to do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. Cycle this for three, have four. I think we're just playing this for as big as big as we can. So five. Do we fight it? Yeah, we'll fight it. <laughs> I'll target this. Okay, sounds good. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. That went well. Let's put this guy in the deck again. I mean, just for Toski and Sawtust Demolisher. I also, I'm, I'm picking one of these up for my own personal cube just to have, so. Hmm. I think we can do 41. We have a lot of ramp. I'm not too concerned with that. I've got so much diet soda in the trunk of my car. I have like no diet soda in the house right now. I have to go get some tomorrow, potentially. I wonder if we can 3-0. That'd be sweet, right? Everybody loves a good 3-0. Also, why is the diet soda in the trunk of your car? I don't think I didn't think you drove that much. And B, why didn't you bring it up to the to the apartment? To the condo. Kerwood, none of this this story is not making any sense. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this hand. We're gonna lead with temple, try to hit a second third land, I guess. Oh, we both got temples? Okay. Okay. I'm too lazy to carry it out. Well, don't you have a butler? Any land I'm keeping. Oh yeah. These are look at this is both Woodland Cemetery and Castle Garenbrig are great because we have Zagoth Triome, so they both come into play untapped. And that's pretty banging. No, no butler. <laughs> Yet. Huh? So this is our curve right now. This into this, and this into this. And then, you know, if we hit lands, that's cool, too. Okay, cool. Forget me. Bye. No longer gonna sub. What? <laughs> why is it like... Why, why are you being like this? Oh, Chris has a lucky find in Crowbar. It's also hard to tell if people are being serious. Like, I can't tell if Emerson Klein's actually being serious there. Or if that's if he's just joking. I'd like to think the audience I have is 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 prone to joking in such a way. Oh, we can play a Kogla. I didn't realize we can actually play Kogla because of the Garen Brig. Yeah, if you couldn't play anything then, you're dead. This, this game's over. So it also looks like Emerson Klein is no longer in the chat, which is super weird. Like, was that a serious response just because i missed i think i missed one message like thoughts on the Zack snyder cut of justice league i haven't seen it yet but like that's super weird all right 2-0 -oh. 2-0 -oh. i love it that's what the crowbar is for yeah you nerd
Well, Emerson Klein Gaming has been a supporter of, of of the of the stream for a long time, which is why it's super weird that like I just miss I happen to miss one message, and I get this really passive like not even passive I guess actual aggressive message and like then they just leave like I don't really understand. Oh god, the LRR thing. Good fucking grief. The magic community can be fucking seriously just just horrendous. Okay, well, this is I don't want to play this guy as an O1. LRR is loading ready run. Oh, that was a good draw. Last week was really cringe when it came to the Magic Community having some moments. Let's call them moments. Okie dokie. So one, two, three. Oh boy. One, two, three, five, six, seven.
I'm not attacking because they have Kenra in the graveyard, and that's not ideal for us. That guy's pretty good. Yeah, that's actually fine. Huh. That's not bad. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, <laughs> submit it with this guy, right? Well, that'll do, I guess. Scavenging use seems probably fine. It's nice and cheap. It blocks. It exiles both their escape card and their, their Kenra. I think we can agree drawing Tumble there and winning was no coincidence. Of course not. It's just like we drew it up, as they say. land would be great. I think our odds are drawing it are okay. And I was correct. They are 100%. Playing this instead of Cold Steel Heart, so at least you have a way to like we can block Magda if we want to, and then play Cold Steel Heart. They do get a treasure. no good. Let's say green. <laughs> All right.
Demon, Demon Bolt and Shock. Well, that's pretty good. So they can Demon Bolt this guy. If they have a land, they go Shock, and they deal us three, four, five, six, seven. Not, not, not great. Make him use it, I guess. Sure to use that free shock too. Go to four. Yep. All right. Just as we figured. No creatures in the graveyard except for Magda. Five. Maybe this is fine? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. If we hit a land, we can go Hornet Queen. Not terrible. Being at five is not ideal, though. That'll do. We block here. We take six. Yep. All right. Well, it's only 11, Kerb. It depends on what time you got to wake up, I guess. I feel like if we survive to the late game, we win. And if they have a great start in the early game, they win. Our decks are pretty... Uh, Diametrically opposed, is that the term? It's more that I started making bird noises. <laughs> well, you started typing bird noises. Similar but different. Um, I'll keep this, sure. Good old Chirpwit. <laughs> okay, okay. their timeout in it. I imagine they don't have a third land, right? That's, that's, that's the only answer. That's the only, that's the only option here. Sure. Well, that's that. I don't have to worry about it anymore, I guess. Okay, let's play a Toski. Two lands is good enough, I guess.
Oh boy. This is getting tiring. All right, well. How much does this cost to make a guy? Just one? Hmm. Oh, it's tapped. That's unfortunate. Draw a card. Would love a scavenging ooze here with one, two, three creatures in the graveyard. No oh, good. Go to one. <laughs> scavenging ooze one time. Oh boy, that's not it. Four, five. Huh. Aftermath deals two to a creature and two to target player or planeswalker. That will do, I guess. That will do. I guess we could draw cards, right? And 2-1. Could have been better, could have been worse. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out at manatrace.com. You can subscribe over at twitch.tv slash And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this Arena Cube.